What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can separate yourself from other trainers, other coaches in the industry. So how you can be the category of one. Now here's the thing, I'm gonna start with a, with a story that I think this will tie in to today's topic. Uh, my wife and I, we moved out to the country. We, we live out here in Texas and we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. And uh, after we moved in, I knew one of the responsibilities I had was I needed to mow the yard. And the yard we live in is pretty big. Uh, it's about an acre, so there's a ton of grass. And before I went to mow, I just kind of like walked around the, the yard, just get a good feel of everything. Um, and I started to see there's, there's a bunch of critters out there. There's uh, spiders, scorpions, bunch of little insects that you probably never normally see unless you're out in the country in Texas. <laughs> and uh, I haven't seen any snakes yet, but I will probably see one uh, in the next couple of days. <laughs> and I went to just go get a good feel of, you know, what's, what's in the yard, you know, what's around, what, what, what the fences look like and all that. And as I turn on the mower, I, I started my journey of took about three and a half hours to mow everything. And as I was mowing, I was just just looking at all of the, the insects that I was plowing over. And I started thinking in my head, as soon as I got done, I was like, man, in the coaching world, there is always one person who's in your city who's mowing. And then there's always everybody else who are the little insects that are trying to claw away and survive right and i knew when i was going over the the lawn there's nothing that these insects could do they're, they're not going to be able to, to fly away from me they're going to get swallowed up by the mower and they're going to get obliterated <laughs> right and this same thing happens though with coaches and personal trainers when there's a the top dog in town that person mows over everybody else right so how do you be the top dog right have you ever seen <laughs> there's a really funny video on on youtube there's a football coach from coastal carolina and it's i, I think he it's called like dogs and cats you go watch that later um but uh if you want to be the top dog in your in your area you have to separate yourself. You have to be different than the other trainers. What everyone else does, you can't do, right? Here's the deal. What everyone else does is very average, very half-ass, very uh, kind of get in, get out type of thing. There's zero quality. And those, to me, are the little insects. They're crawling around, they're, they're scrounging around for clients they don't know what their next month is going to look like they're freaking out they have a lot of anxiety they're they often have like other types of jobs that they do to supplement what they are doing with coaching because they're not running a real business and the majority of coaches and trainers are like this right and a lot of it comes like happens because they're disorganized Right? So now we've talked about the majority of coaches. Now let's talk about the, mi the minority, the coaches who are the top dogs. How in the heck do you become the top dog in your town? Well, here's my recipe of doing this. This is what's helped me over the past 12 years. And I think this will help you over the next year to five years to be the top dog, right? And here's what it is, it's three simple steps. Number one, you have the category of one training program, all right? That means on paper, someone could look at what you're doing and someone could look at what someone else is doing. And every time, like if this is the right side of the page, all right, and this is the left side, every time if, if there's a comparison, the, the person that's looking is just going to be drawn to what you're doing. They're like, oh my gosh, this is so much better. This is what we want. This is what we need. 
and then they get closer and closer and then they buy it, right? And then the thing on the left, which is the other competitor or the other person, they're not even looking at it. The top dogs have category of one business. That means when someone sees it, they are instantly drawn to it. They are attracted to it, right? Committed clients are attracted to this thing, right? Uncommitted clients are attracted to this thing, right? This is why uncommitted coaches and trainers often fail in business because they attract uncommitted clients, right? So number one, you have to have category one business. That is only something that you get to decide to create when you mentally commit that you're going to have the best program, right? And it has nothing to do with business. It has everything to do with your service, right? So that's number one. Number two, right? You operate your training program like a business, <laughs> right? Sounds simple. Most people don't do this, right? There's a difference between having a hobby a, a, a hobby, a side hustle, and a business. A business is not a side hustle, right? I don't have any side hustle. I have a clear, laser-like focused business, and that is the training program, right? And that's how you have to operate. So if you lack business skills, you need to learn them. It's what our mastermind is about. You learn how to operate like a CEO, right? Uh, if you are sloppy, you need to get dis or you need to get organized, right? These are things that are very, very important. You need to have a business, and it needs to be run like a business, not a side hustle or a hobby, right? Third, you have to be better than everyone else in your area at producing results, right? You can only do that if you do step one which is you have a category one training program. So when you have the results and you can go to social media and show off your clients and pound people in the face with results over and over and over and over and over, that makes your program undeniable. And when you do that, you are the top dog in town because no one will be able to compete with your results. That is how you succeed. Now, if you are tired of being one of those little spiders in the yard that gets plowed over by the, by the mower in your city, and you wanna be, you wanna have the John Deere <laughs> 6000 SR, whatever, whatever that stupid thing is called, all right? If you want that in your town, you wanna be the top dog that's cruising along, just destroying all the competition. All right, I want you to reach out to me. Best way to reach out to me, shoot me a text at 210-960-5771. You text me there, we'll hop on a call, and I'll see how I can help you out, right? I'll see how I can help you, very simple. This is for you though, if you are wanting to take it serious, you wanna be the top trainer in town, and you wanna be different. You don't want to blend in with everyone else, right? You don't want to, you don't need to blend in with everyone else. That's what average coaches and trainers do. They want everything to be the same. They, they want to charge the same amount. They want to offer the same service. That's bull crap. We need you to offer a premium service. We need you to get better results. We need you to showcase your, your, the results of your clients so you can get more clients, all right? That's it for today's video. Send me a text if you're ready to talk and I'd love to talk to you soon.